Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and I'm an online eBay reseller. Basically, I go out and I buy stuff secondhand and sometimes new and I sell it over on my eBay page and other places online. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff that has sold on my eBay account within the last couple of days. Unfortunately, this isn't a live picking uh, video of what's sold. It's just going to be me showing my eBay sales because I have already packed these and sent them out as I was a little bit late today on shipping. So... We're just going to go through these one by one, explain how much I paid for them, how much they sold for, and all of that good stuff. So for some reason, in the last like hour or two today, and it's currently Saturday, uh, I have sold three different Grand Theft Auto games to different people. Uh, so yeah, this was the last one that sold today. This is Grand Theft Auto 3 uh, on the PC. So this one that sold for £2.57. For some reason, the PC versions don't seem to do as well as the console versions. Uh, but it was nice to have this one go out the door finally, uh, as it has sat in my collection for a little while. Alright. So next up we have Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing. This is for the Nintendo Wii. And this went out for £10.38. And uh, yeah, this is a nice little sell. I paid 50p for this, so uh, quite a good profit margin on this one. Uh, so that's really nice to see go out. And moving on, we have another game. So a lot of smalls went out this week, um, which is really nice to get rid of some of the smaller stuff. It's always nice to sell the expensive stuff, but sometimes the small stuff is nice to go out as well, especially games, because you get a lot of good reviews from these. Um, so the next two Grand Theft Auto games went out to the same person. Um, who's actually over in the EU. So they did pay quite a bit of postage on this, but this one went for £3.80, and this is Grand Theft Auto 4, I believe, yeah, 4, uh, on the Xbox 360. And they also picked up GTA episodes from Liberty City on the Xbox 360 as well, and they paid £3.80 for that one as well. So we got about £7.40p for those two, and then they paid postage on top which was nice they did pay postage on both uh, because when you're shipping a game to the EU if it's too thick then it will send as a large or a small package and it's a lot more expensive so uh, I will be shipping these um, side by side if I can get it but if not then I'll be sending them in two different packages because uh, it will be cheaper and then any money that they paid extra I'll refund to them if uh, there's any left to do that with but yeah, they bought two games, which was pretty nice. Moving on. Right, this is a Netgear. I don't really know what this is exactly. I bought this in a bunch of stuff from an auction recently. Uh, it just came in a load of um, other electronic goods that I got. But it was listed for £10 and it didn't sell, so I dropped it down to £8. Hence the, um, the weird number here. It's because I dropped it down by 5% twice, I believe. And this was the number that I ended up at. Uh, but this is what it sold for, £8.08 £8 plus postage. And this is a brand new Netgear uh, 180 megabytes per second wireless PC card. Not really sure exactly what this is, uh, but they were going for around £10 anyway. And this is brand new and sealed, so uh, nice little sale there. Right, so next up we have just a little Disney book here. I've had this one for a while. I picked this up for about 15 or 20 pence. Uh, way back last year sometime I bought a bunch of these and uh, I thought they were going to do pretty well but they've just taken so long to sell uh, but I got two pounds and 15 pence plus one pound postage it's going to cost me 150 to ship this so one pound 50 in uh, in actual price um, and then obviously minus in fees uh, I'm not really making anything on this but it's nice for it to finally leave uh, but yeah a little bit of a learning one there on that one. Um, yeah, it's a really nice book as well. Hardback and all of that. But there you go. It was only two ninety nine originally. So, yeah. Probably should have uh, seen that when I picked this up. But mistakes are made sometimes. Right. So, this one is a PlayStation 3 official controllers pad. Um, and I listed this one as for parts or not working because when I went to test it, uh, I plugged it into my computer 
and it didn't do anything. So it didn't light up, it didn't do anything at all. And all the other ones that I did get from a lot that I bought in a car boot sale uh, from the same lot did power on instantly. And I don't know a lot about PlayStation controllers. Maybe the battery just needed charging a bit. But in my head, I presume if you plug it in, it's going to work instantly. So because it didn't do that, I listed it as spares and repairs. And I got £8 for it, plus £3.50 postage, uh, which isn't too bad. I believe the one that I sold that was working uh, got like £12 or something. So it wasn't too far behind what I got for the actual working one. Uh, but yeah, it's in pretty good condition other than the fact that it wouldn't power on. So I'm sure if someone opened this up, they'd be able to see what was wrong with it and probably fix it. So yeah, that was a nice sell. Right, next up we have Dingbats the Game That Drives You Crazy from Goliath, 1999. So this was in really good condition. Um, and yeah, I started picking up Dingbats board games recently and they actually sell pretty quick. So... Uh, get this uh, for about £1, I believe, from the £1 store that I go to. Um, it's kind of like the end-of-line Phyllis Tuckwell store where they sell everything off for a pound. And uh, yeah, got it sold for £11, so a nice £10 uh, on that one. Obviously, after fees, you're probably looking at £8.50 um, profit on that one, which is really nice. And uh, they did pay postage as well, so that's cool. Right, this was a nice sell. <clears throat> I picked this one up for 75p in a charity shop last year, a couple months ago now. Um, I actually took an offer on this for £15, so this number here is not completely accurate, but we got £15 on this one, and this is a Build-A-Bear DC Comics Superman. So I believe this one sold for a little bit more than normal because it's quite a rare one from when the, um, when the movie came out, Man of Steel. They did a limited edition in 2014 and this one was in pretty good condition there was only one issue with uh, the cape on the left hand side was unstitched that or it was stitched on sorry and it was supposed to have velcro uh, on you on the right hand side you can see there there's the little velcro uh, pad but obviously someone's ripped it off and they've just gone through and uh, stitched that back on but other than that it was in pretty good condition uh, so yeah got 15 pounds for that one which was uh, pretty nice Right, moving on, we have a uh, La La Loopsy doll. And uh, yeah, I picked this one up for, I'm pretty sure I got this for like 30p or something because I bought this and a Harry Potter satchel bag uh, for 50p. Um, so it was like 25p, 30p each or something like that at a car boot sale. Um, and we got five pound for this. Now. I remember watching someone else's YouTube video the day before the car boot sale and they had a bunch of these and they sold really well and normally obviously I wouldn't have picked this up but because I'd learnt from the video the day before I saw this and I piled it in with another item and I got it pretty cheap uh, so yeah this one sold for £5.15 plus £3 uh, shipping on that one so if you ever see these uh, they can do really well. They sell, I've worked out, a lot better if you pair them up. So if you get two, maybe three uh, in a pair, then they sell a lot better. And if they have all their accessories. So this one has uh, a pair of shoes on. Sometimes you'll find them without shoes and they don't sell as well. Um, if you can get them with shoes and all the like outfit pieces and stuff like that, they can do really well, especially if you bundle them up, like I said. Right, next up we have Create. For the Nintendo Wii. Um, I paid 50p for this one. Not an expensive game by any means. £2.71 in the end we got for this one. Uh, so not great. But it's another one out the door. And for me video games and stuff like that. Especially the cheap ones. I just look at them as free feedback. Because people that buy video games. Like to leave feedback I've found out. So yeah. A lot of these games when you're seeing me sell them for £2, £3. Stuff like that. I'm not obviously getting these for a profit. I'm just picking them up in bundles and selling them off individually for potential feedback, uh, which is really good to grow your eBay business. Obviously, when you start out, you don't have any feedback. So selling items like this are really good for that. So, yeah. Right, moving on. You would have seen in my last sales video that I sold a bunch of watches in a bunch. And uh, I got like £4 for 10 
Uh, some of the better stuff I've sold off individually. This was obviously one that didn't sell for too much, uh, but I got £3.80 for this. And what I did was I just wrapped it in some tissue paper so it wouldn't smash in delivery. And then I just laid it out inside of an envelope and it went as a large letter. So for £1.50. And uh, yeah, so that's really good. If I'd kept it um, done up like it would have been uh, originally without flattening it out, it would have been too thick and then it would have gone for £3 as a small parcel. Because I laid it out with some padding around it, it went at a much cheaper rate. Uh, so yeah, not too much profit in this one. But some of the other watches that I've sold and some of the other ones I have listed are going for a lot more. This was a Marks and Spencer's watch. So yeah. Nice to see that one finally go out the door. Next up, we have an official genuine Nintendo Wii controller. And I have these listed for £9. And then obviously after I did the 5% discount, uh, it went down to £8.55. I believe I took an offer on this one for £7.50. There was a lot of back and forth. They wanted it for 6 And I was like, no, I'm not doing it for 6 I can get 9 for these, but I've already reduced them. So they decided that £7.50 was fine and uh, nice to see another one go out. I believe I have two or three more of these to go uh, before all of my Wii remotes are gone. Um, so yeah, what I like to do is buy bundles of Wiis, especially at car boot sales, because the Wii remotes are really sturdy and I've never found one that doesn't work. The only time I've had one that didn't work was when the batteries had exploded in the back of it. Um, and they're really good. If you can buy a bundle, a Wii bundle for like £10 that has the console, like three controllers and a bunch of games, you can sell two of the controllers off to cover the price of everything else. And then hopefully the games are worth some money as well. And then you can either take the console to like CEX and get some money for it, or you can sell it at your own car boot sale. Um, I don't tend to sell the consoles myself on eBay because they do weigh quite a bit. Um, and it just means that a lot of people don't like to buy them on eBay, but I know some people do really well with small Wii bundles. So if you're into doing that and you're okay with shipping and all of that uh, for a heavier stuff, then uh, maybe a Wii bundle can go well for you. Uh, but I just tend to find that, yeah, selling the Wii as an actual system with all the heavy wires and stuff doesn't really do too well. But what I have done in the past is actually just shipped the console on its own as a uh, as a backup um, or like a replacement console because what happens is with the Wii's the children they end up breaking them or something happens they spill drink on it or whatever so the parents want to pick up a replacement rather than buying a brand new one so you can sell them for like £10 a console uh, sometimes so I've sold maybe three that way on eBay and obviously it's a lot lighter it can go as a small package when you do it like that but yeah, I just like to sell off the controllers because obviously they break. They're the bit that breaks the most often. People need new controllers all the time. So yeah, I love selling off Wii controllers. So that was good. Next up, we have Star Wars 3 on the PC. Lego Star Wars sold for £3.87. Nothing too special there. Um, so good to see that one go out the door. Right, this was a nice sell. This is Crash Bandicoot. Mind Over Mutant. Now this one sells really quick all the time. Whenever I get this, it goes for between 12 to 15. Um, I had it up for 15 for like a week and I didn't get any bites, but I had a lot of um, viewers on it. Um, so for some reason, eBay wasn't letting me send out an offer. So what I did was I just dropped it down by three pounds instead. And obviously it then sent a message to everyone saying this item has been dropped down by however much percent. And then someone picked it up for £12, which was really nice. And I got £2 postage on that as well. So really nice uh, flip on this one. This one came in a bunch of games I got from an auction a couple of weeks back. So I literally have like maybe 20p, 30p into this game, if not less. Um, so a really nice sell on that one. Another Grand Theft Auto game. So a lot of GTA has been going out in the last like two or three days or whatever it's been. Um, yeah, £4.75 for this one. This is uh, GTA San Andreas on PS PS2, PlayStation 2, £4.75, uh, which is pretty good. But be on the lookout for this version on Xbox 360 because 
I don't think originally it came out on 360, but they brought it back as a classic line. So GTA San Andreas Classic on Xbox 360. It's in a silver case and it sells for £20 instantly. It's really hard to find, but if you ever see it, pick it up because it will go bonk like that straight away. Uh, £20 on the 360 version. But PlayStation 2, £4.75, £5 basically on that one. Pretty good and uh, happy with it. Right, so this one's uh, a little bit different. I went to a charity shop last year and they had a 50p bin. Everything in there was 50p each. And they had like 30 or 40 of these different, I don't know how to pronounce them, Nahe, general purpose cases. They're kind of like um, plastic pencil cases, but for adults. Um, I have A4, A5, and I believe I had A something else, like a small little pencil case version. Um, originally, these were listed for £6 each. They have been reduced, but we ended up selling another one of these in A5 size for £4 and 28p plus postage. So yeah, I got all of them for £5 in the end. I did a deal with the charity shop because they just wanted to get rid of them. I bought them all for £5 and I've sold through like two thirds of them now. So I've made a lot of profit on these. So these are just pure profit at this point. I'll see if I can, there you go. You can see what these look like in the photos right there. So if you ever see these, they can be a good pickup um, if you can get them cheap enough, but yeah. So this was an A5 version. And uh, yeah, one of those went out. Right, so this was a Reading FC uh, scarf. It was brand new. It didn't have tags though, but it had never been worn. Uh, and we ended up getting £7.22. And, and if you're wondering why all of my numbers are weird, it's because of the 5% that I do discount uh, on my page. Um, yeah, it messes up the numbers. <laughs> I like to have whole numbers, round numbers and stuff, but sometimes it goes like that. But yeah, an FA Cup semi-final 2015 between Reading and whoever the other team was um, on Saturday the 18th of April. And I got £7 for that one, so good to see that one go out. That just went in a normal poly mailer, uh, shipped out as a small parcel for £3, which they paid for, which is really nice. Next up, we have another cheap game here, Italian Job LA Heist on PlayStation 2, nothing special. Another feedback earner, I hope. £2.71 plus £2 postage, which covers the poly mailer and all of that other stuff, so that's nice. And then last but not least, we have a vintage 1990 patterned skirts. Uh, yeah, so I don't have many of these left, but I picked up a bunch of these a while back. Um, Basically, they're stitch patterns for women or men, whoever, uh, to make their own clothing. And inside, there's like a, a big sheet of paper that you can cut out and then use as stencils and stuff to make your own clothing. Uh, and yeah, these can be really good profit if you can get them cheap enough. If they're brand new and sealed like this one was, this was one from 1990. So this is 30 years old. Uh, and I got £4.51 for it, and it just shipped as a large letter for £1.50, so nice profit on that. So those are my sales that have gone out in the last day or so. Um, sorry I couldn't film these actually being picked in my, uh, in my storage, but like I said, most of these have already been packed and uh, sent out today, so... Yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, smash a like, feel free to subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with a Sunday car boot sale pickup. So do make sure you stick around for that one, and I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.